Hey guys, welcome back to Psycho Sibs Gaming, where today we are going to go over yet another method of getting lots of experience points and prize bulbs in Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. So if you're like me, you've probably been scouring YouTube looking for good prize bulb farming methods with this new festival coming up. And if you have been, you've probably noticed that most of these videos uh, are actually outdated and their methods have been patched or the XP gains are a lot less than they used to be. I should also mention that if you're just in this for prize bulbs, do the daily challenges and the character challenges first. These are by far the fastest ways to get prize bulbs. However, if you have completed all of these and you still need a few more bulbs to get you that reward, then this video is for you. All right, so to start off, we're going to head into the changing booth. Now, the best part about this XP farm is you can really use any character in the game. I've actually completed this using the Foot Soldier um, and the 80s Action Hero, um, and the uh, Space Cadet works really, really well. But if you want to maximize your gains, the fastest way to complete this XP farm is with the Engineer. So go ahead and select the Engineer. You can throw on Leveling Up in Combat Aura. Those are the two that I've been using just because my Engineer isn't leveled up at all. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and travel to the Zombies Town Center. I'll see you on the other side. So once we've reached the town center, go ahead and open your map and place your waypoint at the bounty hunt near the top of the town center. This is where we will be heading. So go ahead and run over to that bounty hunt. So in case you can't find it, it's up these steps to the right of the museum. Now before we begin the bounty, make sure to go ahead and clear out all of these smaller enemies as you don't want to be taking damage while trying to focus on farming XP. I also do want to mention that Yes, all of the old XP farming methods did revolve around the bounty hunts, and those bounty hunts have been patched. However, the bounty hunt that we will be doing actually involves killing seven different enemies. So by killing all seven enemies, we're going to get a lot more experience points than any of the other bounty hunts. Okay, so now let's get to the hunt. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to complete this in the most efficient way possible. So before we even begin the hunt for Tiger Claws, we're going to go ahead and place our turret right behind this wall. This is so the turret gives us the boost, but does not shoot at the bounty. This is because if you kill Tiger Claws, who is the oak, before you kill the acorns, you will fail the bounty. So we do not want our turret shooting at them. So now we can go ahead and activate the bounty and immediately one acorn will spawn. Try and take this acorn out as fast as possible. If you can prevent him from hopping into the oak, that is ideal. After taking out the first acorn, two more will spawn. Repeat the process, kill both acorns using the splash damage from the engineer's projectile. Finally, three acorns will spawn. Do the same thing, take out all three acorns as fast as possible. Now, if you have very good aim with the engineer, you can do this very, very quickly. And as you can see, it's almost about 30 seconds and I got all three wiped out. Now, once the three acorns are wiped out, you can go ahead and kill claws and boom, that is the entire bounty completed. So in total, once you start to get good at this, you should be getting around 600 plus experience every single minute. Your goal should be to complete the bounty in 45 seconds, so then you can wait the 15 seconds for the bounty to refresh, and you can do the cycle again. So, assuming you do this well for around an hour, you should be getting around 36,000 experience points every hour. This equates to around 7 prize bulbs every hour, which is pretty good considering how much the PVZ developers really discourage this type of farming for prize bulbs. So a few tips before I let you go. First, always make sure you're standing on this ledge because then the oak will rarely be able to hit you. Two, definitely try to kill the acorns before they hop into the oak, even though it may not be the easiest every time, but it will allow you to go a lot faster. And three, remember, you can do this with any character. Even though I say that the engineer is the fastest method, it's definitely worth the extra few seconds of grinding this out just to level up a variety of characters. 
anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this a big help and i will definitely be grinding this out myself in order to get that shogun guard as fast as possible otherwise make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and like this video it helps me out a lot and it encourages me to make a lot more content so if you want to see more content like this and if you want me to go out and find more experience grinding strategies then please drop a like leave a comment below on what you thought about the video and make sure to subscribe otherwise thank you so much see you next time game on gamers